Hey y'all, I am putting this video out. I, I did an upgrade. I have the Mongoose CB24V450. It's actually the same bike as the iZip CB24X450. They are identical. The paint is even the same. It just doesn't have the Mongoose name on it. Um, but I did an upgrade recently to lithium and I did have to I did have to change a few things, but it is a worthwhile upgrade. Anyone that has one of these older bikes, I think they came out 2006, 2007. Um, you may wanna check this out and see everything involved and it is a worthwhile upgrade for sure. So this thing, as you can see, and if you do have an eye zip, you're gonna notice the paint pattern is also exactly the same it's 450 watt uh motor and then you have this vertical battery pack here under the seat this particular one on the mongoose uses a kind of unique plug you can see it looks like a standard type plug that is used on most computers and whatnot however this ground pin right here is is horizontal and typically they're vertical on computers so my lighting here is not the greatest but you can see so when i did this lithium upgrade the original charger that comes with this bike is i think one and a half amp if i remember right which when you're doing uh with your lithium batteries you're going to want higher amperage okay so I'm able to write, I'm able to recharge this bike now in about two hours with the original charger and using the original SLA, the lead acid battery. It took six to eight hours to recharge this bike once it was drained. So that is a huge difference in recharge time. Um, I just took this bike out, rode it for about 30 to 40 minutes with uh pedaling some of the time when i got back home plugged it into the charger in 29 or 30 minutes was fully recharged and the charger uh kicked green so you can basically ride with the lithium upgrade you can ride the bike and it recharges almost as quickly as the amount of time you ride so that's a huge difference uh moving from the lead acid to the lithium all right, so the charger that uh, I ended up getting, um, and I'll try to put links in the, uh, in the, in the uh, description here when I post this video. However, just take a look at this, and you can see it says it's a 29.4 volt, four amp charger, okay? So the lithium battery voltage is slightly higher than the lead acid however i have not had any issues with that slight voltage increase um most of the things that i read online uh that we're talking about this motor that's on these bikes uh says the the voltage is probably rated a lot higher than the uh than the batteries that normally come in it so keep that in mind there is a slight voltage increase but i have not had any issues at this point the bike runs great as a matter of fact it feels like it has more power um a little more acceleration than it did running on lead acid um so the adapter itself i just showed you the adapter but here this was from amazon hopefully this information right here will help you guys find it if you decide to do this upgrade. Uh, YZ Power was the brand, and you can see uh, the specs right there. Okay, the batteries themselves that I put in it were this XZNY brand. And the one I got for this was the 12 amp hour. Uh, let's see if I can get my phone to focus here. It was the 12 amp hour. They actually make an 18 amp hour, which I considered buying, 
but the battery I put in, the 12 amp hour was $45 each. And obviously this thing takes two uh, to get up to your 24 volts and they're wired in series. Once you open up your battery pack, uh, it's pretty easy to see how to rewire everything uh, to get that to work. But those batteries, even though the voltage again is rated slightly higher, they work fine. And the reason I switched to this charger was because lithium batteries do charge a little differently than the lead acid. So I went ahead and got the four amp charger. It charges faster and it is uh, designed to work with the lithium battery. Um, as soon as those things reach full charge, the light turns from red to green um exactly as it should everything works perfectly fine i did for my bike in particular and i'm not sure about the iZip um if it has this same type of uh connector but this was necessary to allow me to plug this into my battery pack using the old uh style i think they call this via if i if i'm not mistaken type plug to convert it to XLR, which is what comes on the charger. So I did have to buy this. This was 15 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, from Electric Scooter Parts, I believe was the website. Um, and I bought the charger and the battery both on Amazon. So this bike, I, I saw mixed things online about this bike as far as is it worth investing? Should I buy this bike? It's an older bike. This bike I have is in immaculate condition. Uh, got it from a family member, very well taken care of. And I do not regret investing the 140, 150 bucks for batteries, charger, and adapter uh, cable to get this thing converted over to lithium. Uh, performance is amazing. Does about 15 miles an hour. I've done nothing else as far as I know there's some sprocket upgrades and things like that you can get for this. But um, as is, just wanted to let people know this bike is worthwhile and it's a great e-bike. The lithium upgrade is not too complicated. Um, well worth doing and it's a fun bike for you can probably find these now for 100 maybe 200 and then do the upgrade maybe have 300 bucks invested and have yourself a nice fun little e-bike thanks for watching and have fun out there